Hey guys, welcome back to another Slide 2 Glitch tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get on the balcony um, where all the NPCs like uh, Rajan, Neela, or Pejil, uh, where they all walk out, walk on and you take recon photos of them from. Um, so, and yeah, you can interact with them, you can hit them with your cane, you can do all kinds of weird stuff. So, this was actually discovered a while ago by the great YouTuber Slide Cooper Competition. He made a video on this and... Um, Basically, exploring the ballroom with uh, Mega Jump or uh, just cheat codes, infinite jumps, stuff like that. And he did this with Codebreaker. And when I watched the video, I was thinking, I, I bet it's possible without Codebreaker. And it turns out it is with a new glitch technique that I will show you guys in a minute. So definitely uh, give his video a watch because he did actually do some stuff that I did that I'm not going to be showing in my video. So like he got on top of the chandelier and stuff with. Um, with infinite double jumps and stuff. So definitely give that video a watch. I'll have a video or I'll have a link for it in the description of this video. So uh, on to the technique. So you guys probably all know about glitch high jump. Um, it's kind of like a triple jump and it's used a lot in speed running and stuff to basically allow yourself to get to higher places that you normally couldn't with just a double jump like that. So what I found is a feral pounce glitch high jump. That's what I'm calling it. And it's basically the glitch high jump, but instead of just regular jumping, you do a feral pounce, and it gives you just a little bit more height. So basically, you press, you hold down square, press the feral pounce button, which it would, which would be like L or whatever, and then you have to press um, X a couple times. So all while holding down square, it's it's a lot more difficult than a regular um, glitch high jump. You do get just a little bit more height, and I'm gonna uh, show you guys why that will be needed in this glitch. Yeah, I can't even get it most of the time. Yeah, I think that might have been it. Yeah, I think that was it. Okay, so once you get into this room right here, you want to uh, pause the game and enter the reload code, which is left, R1, up, down, up, left. And then when you reload, for some reason, you spawn down here, and that's going to allow us to go to the next phase of the glitch. So, you can climb these things. Uh, be careful though, because some of this stuff is not solid like that. And that. So, you want to head up to the right over there. And this is not solid, so don't try to like land on this. If it were solid, uh, it would make this glitch a lot easier, but it's not. So, then you're going to want to stand on the very top of this chair. And then you're going to want to do the glitch, uh, or the Feral Pounce high jump, so... It's really hard to do, especially whenever you really need it, which is really annoying. And yeah, that happens a lot, so... <laughs> okay, let's give this another try. Okay, almost made it that time. Almost made it. Yeah, slide does not look okay. I can't do anything about it. Oh, there we go. Oh, never mind. Well, that's just great. Oh, never mind. Oh, well, now I broke the chair. So I know it may not sound like it, but getting on top of the chair is definitely the most difficult part of this glitch because you have to do it all the time. And you're going to be falling a lot if you try this for yourself. Okay, I'm feeling it this time. What in the world was that? Did anybody else see that? Okay, let's watch it again. What is that? Oh my gosh, is that a, is that a watermelon? Like in the mission? Where he uh, eats the watermelons? That is a watermelon. Why is there a watermelon there? What? That's actually my first time seeing that. 
There we go. Got it. Finally. <laughs> this is after about 12 minutes of trying. Normally it doesn't take me that long. I don't know why. Okay, so. Let's get Rajan to spawn over here. Alright, there we go. And yeah, there's the melon. Yep, that is definitely a watermelon. So what I've noticed is, is if you hit a guard, or if you hit anything, um, enough times where they knock back, like, see how he kind of knocked back a little bit, and, uh, let's get a flash over here. There we go. So yeah, so normally that would cause him to knock back and get knocked out. But, uh, because I guess once they get off their normal position, they don't, uh, like, they, uh, re re de they despawn, I guess. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Alright, Rajan is back. Um, so there, there really isn't much you can, okay, I noticed the melon shakes, like Rajan does. Alright, also guys, um, I can confirm that Rajan does not die. His health, uh, he, he can't kill him because whenever he gets knocked back like that, he respawns, and whenever he does respawn, his health also resets, so. There's no killing Rajan, unfortunately. Alright, so, if we want other guys to spawn, all we have to do is take a picture of Rajan. And take a picture of the rest of the things, like Clockwork Wings, both of them, and the winch. And yeah, there we go. Uh, other NPCs will spawn after that, so. Yeah, you can actually pickpocket the Contessa. Another guard. And another stupid guard. And another guard. Oh, man. <laughs> he just sneak attacked me. So there is Jami Son. It still sounds like Dimitri. And it's a little bit disturbing, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, and be careful um, with jo with Jami Son. Whenever he walks, whenever he uh, walks out, there's a split second where he actually enters his normal uh, normal behavior, and he'll try to attack you, and he will if you're standing close to him. So be careful about that. I'll show you what I mean in a second here. Anybody cares about guards? Okay, looks like. Oh no! Oh my gosh. That was close. I thought I was gonna fall. Okay, guards, anybody cares about you? Okay, Tessa. Another Contessa? Oh man, she just pushed me off again. That is so annoying. Well, she didn't again. She she almost pushed me off one time. She actually did this time. And we made it back. First try again. Yeah, it just gets easier and easier. There we go, Jami Son. See, he charges at you for just a split second until he despawns. And yeah, I'm sure you can't kill them just like uh, Rajon. Uh, I gotta watch out for that, I'm almost dead. Alright, let's take a picture of them so we can get some new characters. <laughs> right when he was about to despawn. <laughs> Half the you can see his polygon outlines. Okay, there is Carmelita. You can do... She's the most boring one. You can do absolutely nothing with her. Can't even hit her. Neela is a little bit more interesting. Okay, uh, get out of here, Carmelita. Okay, there's Neela. 
And yeah, she does. If you guys remember the video I made a while ago, um, it should ha I should have like a little uh, card pop up in the right corner. Um, that video. She did the same thing whenever you hit her. Um, yeah, she just kind of jumps back. And you can push her just like you can push uh, Arpeggio. Oh my gosh! I just pushed her off the balcony. Okay, it looks like she just despawns like normal. <laughs> oh man, I thought I found something cool there. That's the first time I've ever done that. So it looks like every time a character jumps or moves out of their regular position, they just despawn. That's too bad. Okay, for the last thing on this glitch, the last thing I'm going to try to do, I'm going to push Neil off and then watch what she does. That is so weird. So that about wraps up this glitch, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, again, check out Sly Cooper Competition's video on this. It's uh, He shows a lot more than this. This is just for people who want to try this out and don't have, uh, like, Code Breaker or some kind of cheat engine or something. So with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.